Hey guys, what's going on? So, today we're going to be talking about how to spend diamonds. Now, I've gotten this question asked quite a lot, so I've decided to kind of go over it a bit, uh, just share my general opinion on that. First, I want to say, don't do like me and buy EXP cards. Unless you were in the same exact situation that I was, I kind of justified that to myself, but under every other circumstance, I would not have spent my diamonds on EXP cards. So do not do that. Very, very bad use of diamonds there. So there are two main ways that I would suggest spending diamonds, depending on your certain situation. Now let's talk about timed pets for a bit. Unless you're going to be spending a lot of money in Tai Chi Panda, I would recommend only going after one timed pet. My timed pet of choice uh, for this character is Captain Sam. That's why I'm not going for Mephisto this timed pet event. I'm grabbing my free ones and I was considering it, but I decided I'm saving my diamonds for the next time Captain Sam is around. When you get your one timed pet to around Evo 10, you may choose to go after a different timed pet. But I really, really would recommend focusing on only one timed pet and spending your diamonds when they come around. That is, if you're interested in timed pets. I mean, all timed pets have their perks and are all really, really good. It just depends on which one you want and which one suits your needs the most. So that's basically the main way I would suggest using your diamonds. Of course, there can go months or at least weeks without your timed pet of choice showing up either in uh, the events or in the shop as uh, pet packs so where they have like 10 souls in them so it, in that event what else should you do with diamonds your first priority with diamonds actually when you're starting out is to get an outfit make sure it's an outfit that has attributes on it so the orange text under the attack and HP of the outfit. Make sure it has something there. There are some outfits with better attributes than other outfits, like 10,000 net damage is a good one, and uh, percent based damage reduction is also really good. Crit rate's fine. Just make sure it's special. Make sure there's something on it, you know? Besides that, there are, uh, there are sometimes some other good deals in the store. Now, the, uh, now this can vary from time to time. Because the general stuff in the store isn't really that great, uh, diamond to item wise so I'm not really going to go over that since like I said the recurring stuff isn't that great there are sometimes special times and I'll usually make a video on that when something special does come into the store and uh, it's a good value for what for what it offers sometimes there's a really cool title uh, the St. Patrick's title uh, that came wasn't uh, impressive enough for those uh, for, for the amount of diamonds it costed it definitely was a decent title, especially if you're going for a dodge set, but definitely uh, nothing I would spend so many diamonds on, so that's just an example. If you are playing your first month in the server and you happened to not start on the first of a month, you can spend 600 diamonds to log in those uh, up to six days you missed. So let's say you started playing on the 10th of March, for example, you wouldn't have March's 1st through 9th login rewards and uh, since the login rewards can come with some diamonds as well I think it definitely is worth it since you can also basically instantly get Nezha when you're starting and Nezha is a really really awesome pet so log in those extra six days if you haven't done that and you know I always used to say epic chests and a lot of people have it's it's almost common sense that epic chests are a waste of diamonds, and you shouldn't do that. But my opinion has changed a little bit on this. I still wouldn't put my diamonds into it unless I had 1 million. Wink, wink. But my opinion has changed a bit, considering that there's the points shop there. Pulling times 10 gives you 2600 points, which will give you the opportunity to buy 20 of any search pillow you want, so that's a little added bonus there. You can get tons of crystals from epic chests, but all in all, I would still say stay away from epic chests. You're better off not, because it is still very largely luck-based. You could get uh, 9 purple items and 1 orange item, and then that's, uh, that's so bad for the amount of diamonds that it costs. So... Mm. Timed pets, okay, I can accept that. It is still luck based, but there's no, but for a lot of the timed pets, there's no other chance to get them. 
so I would make an exception there even though it is still luck based, just not for the epic chests. Well there is also this epic loot times 10 which isn't bad, but you would need like 14,000 diamonds to be able to get all rewards, but that would be 5,000 ref stones extra pull there, so not totally sure. I mean, 14,000 diamonds is a lot of diamonds. You could probably uh, get a timed pet up to Evo 7 perhaps with those diamonds alone from Evo 0? Eh, maybe not, but close. Probably at least Evo 6. I have to be a little bit on the fence about that, because you could, um, with 14,000 diamonds, you get those 5,000 ref stones, an extra uh, pull 10, and uh, two orange items, along with 10 more orange items, because I believe for every uh, 10 pull you do, you get one orange chest. So that's actually 12 orange items you would get from that, plus 220 of any surge pill you would like. But yeah, I don't know. If you're gonna go for it, then uh, try and save up 14,000 diamonds and go for the 10 times 10. Also, of course, developing in your guild. You should do that every single day if you want your guild to appreciate you. How much diamonds you're going to give uh, is totally up to you. I do 20 daily myself, although uh, when you're going to give 200, not only does that help the guild develop, but you also get a lot of contribution which you can use in the guild store. And there, are, and there is some really good stuff in the guild store, so definitely worth considering. I may start doing it myself, I'm not too sure. I just always like to save as many diamonds as I possibly can in case something really, really cool comes into the shop. But yeah, that's about all the ways I can think of right now how I would use diamonds. Number one priority for me is saving up for uh, Captain Sam in my case. Uh, for someone else, it could be Mephisto, or Nami, or Dingus. And the next thing I would uh, think about is uh, checking the store for special deals and good stuff you can find in there. But anyway, yeah guys, that's going to be about all for today. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and comment if you have anything to say. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time.